If you thought all the info that we got yesterday was huge, I don't know, Rockstar Games, are you okay, man? No communication for months, and then two days in a row, we get two massive drops of info about this upcoming DLC. And you saw it in the thumbnail, we have a release date for the new heist and the new DLC coming in December. And along with that, we got a 24 second teaser trailer. So let's watch that now. So that trailer looks really, really cool, and we'll go through all of that towards the end of the video because we have a lot more info to go over here. We have an entire Newswire post explaining what to expect in this DLC. And spoiler alert, it is some pretty big stuff that a lot of people have wanted for a really long time. So you can see it right there, the Keo Perico heist coming December 15 in GTA Online. So we're about four weeks away from getting our hands on this new DLC and this new heist. So let's read about what we can expect. Rockstar starts off the newswire by saying it's time to raise the stakes higher than ever before. You've broken a convicted spy out of Bolingbroke Penitentiary, you've saved the world from an egomaniacal tech billionaire, and you've beaten the odds to drain a casino of its cash. This time, you're taking on an entire island. So of course, all that references some of the heists that we've had already in GTA Online. Of course, breaking someone out of prison in the Prison Break heist, taking down the Doomsday heists, and of course, the Casino heist as well. It goes on to say, prepare to infiltrate the remote island compound of the world's most notorious drug dealer in Grand Theft Auto Online's biggest, most daring, and action-packed addition yet, the Cayo Perico heist. Anyone from Spain would know that Cayo Perico, apologies for my pronunciation, that translates to parakeet. So the parakeet heist, basically. It's up to you to find a way to breach Cayo Perico, one of the world's most secure private islands in the entire world, evade or neutralize the heavily armed security forces stationed there, and escape with value evidence along with as much art, gold, and drug money as you can carry. So this is really interesting. Let's break this paragraph down a little bit. It says you can evade or neutralize the heavily armed security forces. Of course, neutralizing means killing them all, but when it says evade, that sort of says to me that you can complete this heist completely pacifist. So it looks like you might not even have to kill anyone if you don't want to. The next part is interesting as well. I, I think we're going to need a bit more clarification on this over the coming weeks. It says escape with valuable evidence along with as much art, gold, and drug money as you can. What's interesting with all that is it says and, right? It doesn't say or. Of course, with the casino heist, you had the potential to get art, cash, gold, or diamonds, right? Like you could only get one at a time. This sort of leaves the door open for a bit of speculation as to whether we can expect to be able to just get one type of loot from this heist, or if we can get actually as many as we can carry, like it says. That's interesting, I guess we just have to wait and see on that one, but it's definitely exciting for sure. Choose your tools, choose your approach, choose your crew, and wait for it guys. Or even go it entirely alone. Just make it back to Los Santos in one piece. So, that's right, this is the first ever heist in Grand Theft Auto Online that can be completed completely solo. I know a lot of people have been asking for that for so, so long. Personally, I wasn't really sure if I was a fan of the idea, but for all of the solo players out there, because I would argue that almost most people play this game solo, that is some really big and awesome news for you guys, so I'm really happy for all the solo players out there. Of course, it says choose your tools, choose your approach, so I guess that's sort of going to be similar to the Casino Heist, where you can choose your approach and how you approach that approach. What's interesting and could sort of be a downside to all of this is it says just make it back to Los Santos in one piece. So the goal is to go to the island, get the stuff, and get back off the island. The only problem with that is that sort of leads me to believe that this new island won't actually be a location we can explore in free roam. We don't really know yet, but for all of the people that were hoping for a map expansion that you could free roam, uh, yeah, that is a little bit of bad news. Potentially. I mean, we could still be able to explore this in free roam. Personally, I hope so. But yeah, the wording, it, it's, it's interesting. The K.O. Perico heist is the biggest GTA Online adventure ever, introducing an all-new exotic heist location 
so again there it says highest location right like it doesn't say free roam so I think, I, I wouldn't say it's confirmed, but I'd say it's unlikely that you're going to be able to free roam this place with a brand new approach to heist design that features the ability to play everything solo or with up to three other players. Plus, you can acquire new vehicles and tactical weapons, experience new social spaces to dance and party in with your friends, and new world-class guest DJs and listen to new radio stations with over 100 new songs. Oh, and a very large, very versatile, and very heavily armed submarine headquarters with plenty of other surprises. So that's a pretty big paragraph, we'll break that down. Again, just confirming that you can play this with anywhere between one to four players. You can acquire new vehicles and weapons. That was sort of all expected. That's still good to hear that there's gonna be a bunch of new tactical weapons and vehicles. This is interesting to me though. It says experience new social spaces to dance and party in with your friends. Now we did see a lot of people dancing in that trailer. We'll break that down in a bit. But when it says new social spaces, uh, that's, I mean, what is a social space in Grand Theft Auto, right? Technically the casino is a social space. Your apartments are social spaces. I don't think I've seen Rockstar use the words social spaces before though. So I guess we can sort of expect something new in that aspect at least. And for someone who loves music, this next part is actually really exciting for me. I know a lot of people love music out there. It says new world class guest DJs. We did have some DJs with the After Hours DLC a couple of years ago. It sounds we got some new world class guest DJs, so that sort of gets my hopes up. I'm excited to see where they go with that. And listen to new radio stations with an S. So we're getting multiple new radio stations with over 100 new songs. Again, that is really cool because a lot of the radio stations in GTA right now, are, I mean, they're not really that new, right? There's new music being released all the time. This game came out in 2013, so new songs, new radio stations is always welcome to sort of freshen the game up and keep it with the modern music. And it just wouldn't be Rockstar if they didn't tease us with something at the end, right? They say, a very large, very versatile, and very heavily armed submarine headquarters with plenty of other surprises. So as we saw in the first teaser yesterday, everyone was saying all of those pictures were taken with a submarine, and it looks like everyone was right. So you are now going to be able to, by the looks of it, buy a submarine headquarters in Grand Theft Auto Online. That's exciting. It's going to be heavily armed. I don't know. I hope it's something a bit more exciting than the yachts. This sort of reminds me of the yachts, like a massive seat vehicle that really doesn't do too much. So I hope this plays a really big role in the heist and is actually useful for something other than flexing on people. So let's jump back into the trailer and have a look at some of the more interesting points of that one. We'll start off with one of the first scenes that we got in the trailer here, and this looks like it's just a different angle and a colored version of the compound that we got yesterday. We didn't really get a great look at it yesterday, but we can 100% confirm that this is right by the ocean. Now, I froze the trailer here because I think this is a really important screenshot. This really shows how big this island is. Now, we don't know how close to the end of the island we are in this exact image, but we can see a lot of island ahead of us. So this is gonna be a really, really big place. And if this is just for the heist, Man, this heist is going to have a ton of replayability. Next up, we get a good look at what looks to be the main dock on this island. Nothing really too interesting to note. This, I think, is the watchtower that we got in the teaser yesterday. But can I just say, for a game that came out in 2013, this looks really, really nice. This next shot here shows a plane flying over and onto the island by the looks of it. Translating from Spanish, this sign says, Welcome to Cayo Perico. Now, this plane is sort of interesting because a lot of people were curious as to whether we're going to fly over to this island or go across on a boat. We're not really sure if this is a player flying this aircraft, but I think it pretty much does confirm that flying into this island by plane is going to be one of the possible options. If this island is just for the heights and not a free roam place, I'm going to sort of go out and assume that you're going to have multiple ways you can approach this island, right? Whether it's by submarine, whether it's by boat, whether it's by plane, I think we're going to have a lot of options. And for the final part of the trailer, it looks like we're tapping in to some security camera feeds here. So I'd assume this is going to be the main compound where we have to steal stuff from for the heist. This looks like one of the entrances to this compound and you can see that 
there's some pretty heavily armored vehicles here. So if you choose to go in loud, you're probably going to face a lot of resistance. The next security camera, we get a look inside one of the main character's offices, I would assume. Again, this looks like something we're going to have to steal from. And then we've got another look through a security camera that shows a lot of people dancing. Now, they did say there's new social spaces. I'm not sure if this is going to be one of the social spaces. But the fact that we're looking at this through a security camera leads me to believe that this is going to be part of the heist. And if we have a bunch of NPCs just chilling in one area in a heist, that's going to be pretty interesting. I don't think we've had a heist in the game where we have to deal with a big bunch of civilians. So if this is part of the heist, that shows that this is going to be massively different from anything we've done before. We then get a couple of frames showing the inside of the submarine and the submarine headquarters. So it looks like there's going to be a bunch of NPCs in this headquarters. And it also looks, judging by this sort of screenshot here, that we, the player, are going to be able to control the missiles that we shoot out of the submarine. So that is very, very cool. And there you have it, man. Wow, that is, that's a lot of info. Of course, we don't know everything. A lot of this is still up in the air with how Rockstar likes to word things. But man, I am extremely, extremely excited. I have not been this excited for something Grand Theft Auto related in a really, really long time. This looks amazing. Well done, Rockstar. I can't wait to play it. I hope you guys are excited for it. If you're excited for it and you enjoyed the video, a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. Consider subscribing for more stuff like this. And man, December 15th. Okay. Hope you're all staying safe and I'll see you in the next video. Poise. Color money green paper. I've been on my grind since I was in the seventh grade. Seventh